So we made it down to saint tim -Leon. It feels like we've been traveling forever, but we are here. Um, I've actually been here probably like four times at this point. Um, mostly due to wedding planning because we actually got married here. We had this amazing destination our wedding last year in September, um, September 2021. Planning was just like such an intense, crazy process, but the wedding actually went off. It was beautiful um, despite COVID, all the travel, all the craziness. Um, and it does feel really good to be back in this place that just will always have like a special place in my heart because, you know, we had our wedding here and um, Last time I was here, I was just like with everyone that I loved who flew from all over the world. So it was just like such a really special um, experience. And now we are back for a party at the same venue where we had our wedding. So I'm really excited to go back there and see it. Um, my friends who own the place are just like hosting their little summer garden party. So we're gonna be going back and hanging out with them. Yes, we did fly down just for that because we are good friends. We fly down for parties. Um, that's just how we roll. So. We're gonna head over there in a little bit, but we just like stopped in St. Emilion to have a quick little drink and kind of just like, I don't know, soak up some of the vibes, you know, of it being like our little um, special post-wedding place. Um, but we're gonna head over to my friend's villa, or um, I guess I call it Chateau here, it's a chateau. Um, so we're gonna head over in a little bit. Um, and then after that, we are going to fly down to Nice tomorrow morning. So that's the next stop in our journey, heading down to the south of France. Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Good morning So we are leaving saint Leon And heading to Nice in a little bit um, I'm up early, no makeup Because it's just too early for that um, We're about to go ahead to the train to Bordeaux And then fly out to Nice Which is like about an hour flight So pretty easy to kind of bop around From this region um, But I just had to see this view one more time Because it's just like absolutely Absolutely ridiculous how pretty it is over here um, if you've never been here it's a little bit off the beaten train path from Paris because um, obviously you fly to Paris and then take a train and then another taxi to get here but it's just um, it's just like the cutest most charming place there's the best food like amazing restaurants amazing wine like probably some of the best wine in France comes from this region so if you're looking for different places to go kind of like more unique areas to explore definitely recommend Saint Emilion um, and I'm about to go because I think I hear my taxi pulling up so it's time to go get in this car and head to the train station see you guys also pro tip on walking around Saint Emilion um, always wear flat shoes preferably with like rubber soles or some kind of tread or grip because there are cobblestones everywhere and really steep hills with mysterious gaps between the banisters. So it's um it can be a little treacherous, guys. Okay, so we made it to the train station. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys one more travel tip about traveling to Saint Emilion because there's like one little trick you might want to be aware of. So you can either come from Paris to Le Bourne station or to the Saint Emilion station. Right now I'm here in the Saint Emilion station. Um so I'm just gonna fix my mic a little bit. And the thing about this place, I've actually never come here before. I almost always go to the Le Bourne station because it's a bigger, like busier, more of like a transit hub. There'll be a lot more trains, there's a coffee shop, there's like a little shop where you can get food. Um, um, and there's just like a lot more foot traffic and there's also taxis. So there will be a taxi stand outside when you get in. So you can kind of usually find taxis or more easily get a pickup. Um, over here in St. Emilion, there's basically like nothing. It's a two track train. There's no coffee shop. There's no like service information booth. There's no restaurants and you're gonna have a harder time getting a taxi. So unless you're someone who would like get off a train and then go walk into town, which is about a mile away with cobblestones, by the way, um, so if you're packing light and you just want to like get off a train and walk, then you'll be fine. If you're arriving early and it's like daylight and pretty safe, um, then also fine. But any other time of day, like I wouldn't really be comfortable standing out here on my own for too long. Um, and right now there's only one other person here who, we were here for 10 minutes before she showed up. Um, but okay, my train's here, so time to go.
So this is why when you're traveling, you always wanna say it's a special occasion. This time I think I said it was our anniversary or honeymoon. Um, and this is what we got. Got some nice macarons. And we got an upgrade to a room with a little Juliette. Okay, so after a couple of hours of travel, we made it down here to Nice. It's like sweltering hot. Like there's not even a word for how hot it is out here. So we're not gonna be out that much longer. Um, we're gonna go get ready to grab some lunch, try to walk around a little bit, maybe do some like souvenir shopping. Um, and then we're going out in Monaco this evening. So we're gonna have to go home and get like a little more done up to go out um, for nightlife in Monaco. So that's the game plan for today. Um, and let's just get ready to eat because we are absolutely starving. So I don't, I don't even know if you can really see this well through all the handwriting, but it's so cute anyway. Um, but here's the OOTN for Monaco. Pretty sexy. Okay, I'm late, but I had to do this. Let's go. Okay, so we made it down to Monaco. We kind of just walked around, did a little bit of exploring. We went to the palace, and now we're heading like further down the hill into Monte Carlo, and we're gonna have dinner probably at like the famous, um, I think it's Cafe Flor or something like that. The really famous one that's like right by the casino, the famous like, overpriced tourist trap but it's just so glam and it's kind of just like the place to be when you're in Monaco and we're only here for the night so why not um, and then after that we're gonna go to the casino and gamble we're already talking about how to get the money back if we hit it big um, and what the plan would be so let's keep our fingers crossed and see if I actually come out of here with some money even though I probably won't but you know a girl can dream right Okay, so we just finished our crazy good dinner at Café du Paris, and now we're getting ready to go check out this casino. We're gonna play a few rounds. I said the limit should be like 40 euros. My husband wants it to be 500 euros, so we might land somewhere halfway in between, um, but we're gonna try to not go too crazy. See if we win some money, and let's go um, get it. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how cute it looks from the outside, because it's just so pretty. Um, it's just like crazy beautiful at night when it's all lit up. Um, uh, it's just so gorgeous. So, all right, we are about to go do this. Let's go. So at this point in our trip, we were supposed to already be on a lavender tour, like exploring the valleys and like Valensol and all that beautiful stuff you see on Instagram every July because it's lavender season. But when we found out today, after our tour guide picked us up, they picked us up first, drove all around Nice to pick up like four other people. Um, so that took about like 45 minutes. Then we got to like a rallying point between the two cars and they explained that um, <laughs> basically the lavender fields have been closed. They've all been cut down. There's no more lavender left because it bloomed too early. So there's nothing left to see there, but they're gonna make up this whole new itinerary with all these stops like a lake and kayaking and like a bunch of other like really random stuff that I wasn't really trying to fuck with. Um, and the only reason that I came here this time of year was for the lavender field. So I was just like, obviously pissed off. Um, and at this point I've already emailed customer service asked for a refund because when they said that they changed the stops, we got off, a couple people got off and we're like, we're just gonna go like do something else because this new made of itinerary sounds really dumb and like not what we paid for. Um, so the tour guides were like, oh yeah, totally cool. Just like go contact Viator, they'll give you our money back. Update at this point, Viator has said, we're not giving your money back. So it's about to be like a fight to the death, y'all. Um, but anyway, we decided that instead of just like wasting the day, we would go hang out in like another little town. So right now we are in Villefranche-sur-Mer, which is like about a 15 minute train ride from Nice. It's really, really pretty. Um, check out this view behind me actually, or this is in front of me, right? This is in front of me. Um, and we're gonna pan around. And then here is the ocean. Um, so yeah, Villefranche is actually super cute. I am happy that we came out here. I've never been here. So we're gonna hang out here for a couple of hours. Um, and then we realized the train that goes from Nice to here ends in Italy, in Ventimiglia. So we're probably gonna just get back on that train, 
Maybe we'll go back to Nice and get our passports. Um, I haven't decided yet. My husband thinks we should. I'm like, let's risk it. You know, they're not gonna check. We're still in the Schengen zone. They don't ever check. Um, but in any case, we might end up having um, dinner in Italy tonight. So that's the plan. But for now, we're gonna go for a little walk, do some shopping. Um, I am pretty bummed that I did not get to see the lavender fields. It's one of those things that I've like always wanted to do, but um, we're just gonna make the best of our time here and go have some fun. So let's get out of here. We just went back to the hotel, like took a shower, took a little nap and relaxed a little bit, and now we are on board the train to Italy. Uh, it takes about 55 minutes to go from Nice to Montemilia, which is like, I guess, just across the border in the Riviera. This is my cute little dress, and it's like revolved dress on that I was saving um, to wear for a while. Um, and here we go, just gonna go head out, have some dinner, walk around a little bit, um, just have fun and enjoy the scenery and the time while we're here. So we made it to Italia. We got off the train. Um, in all honesty, it's not the prettiest part of town when you first get off the train. So we were kind of like, oh my God, like what do we do? Where do we end up? Um, but we're like, okay, you know what? The water is that way. Let's just like walk toward the water, explore a little bit and see what we find. And what we found is this really cute like bar or restaurant that's right here on the beach. Um, we just split a pizza, like really, really good pizza. Um, kind of like nice vibes. And now we're gonna come down here and have like a last minute like little drink by the sunset area. So check out the view. This is what I'm working with right here. Super cute, right? So our train back is in about an hour, so we're gonna have like, I guess one more round, maybe some dessert down here in like the little beach bar area and then start walking back. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna wait till it's like that late to walk back cause it's already sunset and like the neighborhood was a little bit sketch on the way in. Um, for my ladies, if you're coming here by yourself, just don't do it. Um, I'm with my husband, so like I think we'll be okay, but it's just that kind of neighborhood. Like it has those vibes, you know, you guys know the vibes. So, but I'm gonna grab some shots while it's sunset and then we're gonna grab one last round and then head back to France for the night. So it is our last morning here in Nice. We decided to stop and grab breakfast somewhere other than the hotel just to kind of mix it up. So we went over to Rosewood Cafe. Um, we passed it the other day just like wandering around and I was like, oh, it's really, really cute. Um, and it's kind of one of these like really insta looking displays. It has like this gorgeous floral wall behind me um, and it's super cute inside. So we came in, had a really good breakfast, really great pastries and great coffee. Um, and now we're gonna just like walk around, do some shopping, maybe hit the beach um, and head back out to the airport in a little bit. a really nice um, relaxing fun fit last day in Nice except for the fact that it was just like absurdly hot like 
this European summer heat wave is no joke, but it was worth it. We had a great time, and now we're at the airport getting ready to head out and board our flight. So this is where I wrap up the vlog. Just wanted to say goodbye really quickly, um, and also remind you guys to continue to check out my channel and consider subscribing and share this video if it helps you out. I am still trying to grow this channel and get my views up, so all the love and engagement you can give me really does help out a ton. Um, so again, if you like it, share it, save it, subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, and also check out my Instagram if you want to. It's where is Malika, which is where dot is dot Malika. Um, and that's it. I will catch you guys in the next video.